Mr. Thurman, are you ready? Let's do it. This is file item number 11, AB 1260. Thank you, Mr. Thurman. Thank you, Madam Chair, Mr. Chair, members of the committee. It is a pleasure to be able to present AB 1260 for you. It is a bill uh, on behalf of the City of Richmond that seeks to do several things. Uh, for starters, the City of Richmond is engaged in a very ambitious shoreline development plan in the south side of the city. Uh, this shoreline development envisions a future major tenant and partner and that is that the University of California plans to establish a new UC Berkeley campus in the city of Richmond for the purposes primarily of advocating for life sciences development. Needless to say that this development will be significant. There will be nothing seen this large in terms of its economic impact to the city of Richmond probably for the next hundred years. It will create the opportunity to create new innovation in science and technology around life science, biotech, and pharmaceuticals. Most importantly, it will create the opportunity to support job creation and to support small businesses for the people of Richmond and for people who want to invest in many residual businesses that will take place in the city. This bill is really seeking to establish the foundation between the city of Richmond and this new Berkeley campus on many fronts, including establishing a joint powers agreement between the city and UC for the establishment of this campus to look at how the city will move forward on infrastructure development in obtaining financing to support the development of infrastructure around the South Shoreline development. This bill also creates a framework to strengthen how a community benefits agreement can be articulated by the University of California Berkeley uh, to take place and provide benefit in the city of Richmond. As you know, the UC is its own entity and there are many questions about how a UC can be a developer and landlord in the city of Richmond when it is not completely subject to the city's leverage around permitting. So this bill seeks to create a framework that allows for the partnership between the City of Richmond and the University of California at Berkeley to be in Richmond to have that framework for the strong community benefits agreement. Uh, it's been an honor to serve the city locally and the city council and school board and now in the assembly. Uh, this is a first of its kind, a campus being established in the city that will have this uh, type of a footprint we're hopeful that this bill will give us the opportunity to move the framework forward for the success of the city and UC and the city of Richmond. Uh, with that, I'm happy to take your questions and I respectfully ask for your aye vote. Any, any witnesses in support? Uh, today we're going without witnesses and um, this is the city that I live in and love and this is a project that we've been working on for many years <clears throat> and hope to be working for many years coming forward. Any, any witnesses in opposition? Questions or comments from uh, the committee? Mr. Levine. Yeah, I want to thank Mr. Thurman for the bill. I think that the, the vision for Richmond is really amazing about what can happen um, in the city with uh, UC Berkeley there. And, uh, and so I really like the bill. Thank you. Mr. Linder. Uh, thank you, Mr. Thurman. Um, you know, I was, uh, I, this is the second time I've seen this bill. I was able to, uh, to have the pleasure of looking through it on uh, the local government committee. Um, were there elements of it I liked and, I'm, and I was looking forward to vote, voting for it? Um, now, I ended up staying off because there were some amendments and the amendments drastically changed the, the scope of the bill. And it's not that I, I, I mean, it just was I, we didn't have enough time to go through them. Um, and, and I'm going to continue to stay off of this in, in, until I get to see those amendments. But I think that what, what's in those amendments is going to make me, uh, it's going to lead to the ultimate decision on whether or not I support this or not. But uh, like I said, there are elements of this that I do like. So thank you. Appreciate it. And, and I appreciated your, your questions in the previous committee and conversation. Uh, for those who weren't there, uh, the amendments that we accepted largely had to do with how we articulate our support that the university would move forward in a way that respects local wages, um, minimum wages, making sure that uh, jobs would not be contracted out because this is an opportunity to stimulate the local economy. We want local businesses, small businesses, and local people to be a part of that work. But we look forward to the ongoing conversation with you and other members of this committee as the bill moves forward. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Mr. Bloom. Go Bears. <laughs> Ms. Weber. Just a couple of questions. You're, you're, you're basically talking about the establishment of another <coughs> campus. Is that correct? Or extension or what? <laughs> I should ask. The UC intends to establish a new campus in Richmond and they're calling it 
They're calling it the University of California Berkeley at the Richmond Campus Bay. Now, obviously, you know, we've asked the people who do their branding to reconsider that. <laughs> we think simply calling it UC Berkeley, the UC Berkeley Richmond Campus would suffice. Uh, but the UC has a plan and is moving forward on establishing a, a new campus in Richmond. It's it, an extension campus? It would actually be a life science campus unto its own. Okay. That would be all about... But an extension of Berkeley. Uh, well, it's... it's I, I guess you could call it that. I was, I was trying to refrain from considering it in the sense that there might be an extension campus where if you don't live in that city, you can take classes in another city. But this is a campus that would be doing more advanced science and technology, STEM, um, and things of that nature. But it would not be a separate UC. It would be, it would be a part of Berkeley, basically. It would be. It That's would be I mean, part of, yes. Often campuses will have these specialized centers, and so it'd be, it would be a specialized center dealing with life sciences from the UC Berkeley campus. Correct. Okay. It, would, it would be. I think its emphasis would be higher, though, on um, research right. and technology as opposed to providing an, an awarding degrees. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that um, you know, we're focused on is how they would create a job training program for folks from the community sure. who might not have any formal training to be able to work, work in, in biotech the, the and to work right. into the lab and to okay. do the research. Um, it also has a significant um, benefit of the UC would rent to various research companies that would want to be affiliated with the campus. The UC has also expressed an interest in helping to create a teaching hospital as part of this campus development, which is critical for our community because, as you've heard, just this month, our primary emergency room that serves the city of Richmond and San Pablo has closed because they can't afford to serve the patients who are largely Medi-Cal and no insurance. So needless to say, um, the fact that a teaching hospital has been added to the menu of what this new campus will provide is significant for, uh, for the Richmond community, but we think for the entire uh, East Bay, uh, for Make sure. Make sure you get a clear agreement about the, who they'll serve, because we have a teaching hospital that doesn't serve a lot of Medi-Cal and Medicare patients. We might, we, might invite, we might invite you to be a part of those conversations yeah. just to make sure that, uh, yeah. that, that history <laughs> is on our side exactly. and that we understand where there might be treacherous points to move forward, uh, but we appreciate the caution. Good. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Take it at your close. I respectfully ask for your I vote. Do I have a motion? Second. Moved by Mr. Levine, second by Ms. Weber. Uh, I want to thank uh, the uh, author for bringing the bill forward, but I, I, I need to uh, say that at this time, like uh, previous legislation that we saw in this committee uh, that asked for a creation of a new campus, absent uh, a body by the state of California that oversees or coordinates or plans a creation of, uh, of new campuses or new extensions, I'm going to stay off the bill today. May I ask a question to the chair? You may. I, I am not familiar with that structure that um, would oversee uh, the creation of new campuses. I do want to say that this bill itself does not create a new campus. This bill provides support to the city of Richmond to develop its south shoreline. The campus that would be established there probably represents 20% development at max. So this bill is saying that the city of Richmond wants to benefit from being able to list the University of California in its portfolio. So I say that to say, consider this a bill for the city of Richmond where there's benefit from the UC, not a bill for the UC. Thank you. Madam Secretary. Medina? Not voting. Medina not voting. Baker? No. Baker, no. Bloom? Aye. Bloom, aye. Chavez? No. Chavez, no. Harper? Irwin? Aye. Irwin, aye. Joan Sawyer? Levine? Levine, aye. Linder? Not voting. Linder not voting. Lowe? Santiago? Aye. Santiago, aye. Weber? Weber, I. Williams, aye. Williams, I. Six two, your measure is on call. Thank you. And we'll uh, go to add-ons. Can we just start calling this the extension campus from now on? <laughs> Thank you, members of the committee. We've got two on call.
encore. We're, we're going to go to bills that are on, on call. So we're going to go in numerical order. Yes, in numerical so, yeah. order. Yeah. We'll start with uh, item 1, AB 340. Bloom. Aye. Bloom, I. Chavez. Aye. Chavez, I. Joan Sawyer. Lowe. Williams. Williams, I. Nine, two, it passed. And we're done. We don't need to keep, we don't need to keep it open. Okay. Uh, nine, two, AB 340 uh, passes. We'll go to item two, AB 490. Yeah. Medina. Aye. Medina, I. Baker? No. Baker, no. Bloom? Aye. Bloom, I. Chavez? No. Chavez, no. Harper? No. Harper, no. Ir Irwin? Aye. Irwin, I. Joan Sawyer? Levine? Aye. Levine, I. Linder? Aye. Linder, I. Lowe? Santiago? Aye. Santiago I Weber aye. Weber I Williams aye. Williams I eight three eight three A B four ninety passes item nine A B eleven twelve okay I item before that item seven A B ten sixty six See. Bloom. Aye. Bloom, I. Chavez. No. Chavez, no. Lowe. Santiago. Aye. Santiago, I. Williams. Aye. Williams, I. Nine, three, AB 1066 passes. Item nine, AB 1112. Bloom. Aye. Bloom, I. Yes. Yes. A, B, Lopez. 11, we, we're, we're doing measures on call. Yeah. And we'll do, go back to add on. Okay. Bloom, no. Low. Santiago, aye. Santiago, I, Weber, no. Weber, no. So it's four seven failed. Four seven, A B eleven twelve fails. Okay, uh, request for reconsideration granted. Item 13, AB 1366. Medina? Aye. Medina, I. Bloom? Aye. Bloom, I. Low? Aye. Low, I. Santiago? Aye. Santiago, I. Okay, 10 2, AB 1366 passes. What, number 11? Oh, I don't have it on there. Item 11. Yeah. Okay, item 11, AB 1260. Let's see. Harper. Harper, no. Joan Sawyer, low. Low, I. Linder I. Yep, eight three. Passes. Okay. Eleven eight three 
AB 1260 passes. Item 15, AB 1385. Bloom. Aye. Bloom, aye. Chavez. No. Chavez, no. Joan Sawyer, low. Aye. Low, aye. Santiago. Aye. Santiago, aye. Uh, nine three. Item uh, fifteen. Fifth, were we on fifteen? Yes. Thirteen eighty five. Yes. Passes. Item eighteen. A B fourteen eighty three. Chavez. No. Chavez. No. Levine. A B fourteen eighty three. No. Levine. No. Low, low, I, Santiago, I. Santiago, I, Bloom, I. Weber. Weber, I, Bloom, I, Bloom, I. Okay, eight three, AB fourteen eighty three passes, and now going to add ons. AB 6, 7.